Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope you're having a wonderful day. On this video, um, we're gonna do something kind of fun. It's a little bit outside of my normal comfort zone. We are going to take some traditional familiar shapes and we're gonna just experiment with doing kind of crazy colors and crazy patterns. And um, I think you're gonna really like it, especially if you want to use a color that's not in the traditional um, color wave for the various holidays. So I'm talking about fall and Christmas, but we could also, next Easter, be talking about Easter as well. So this bunny's gonna hop away because he's not available right now. He probably will come back, he or she, next year. Um, but for now, what we're gonna be talking about are using some funky colors and patterns on pumpkins. I'm gonna show you, you know, traditional and funky. We're gonna talk about these adorable little houses and how you can do something kind of traditional on one side and something funky on the other. And then we're gonna be doing some Christmas trees. Oh, and I have one of these little white tags that these make great like little front door things. So as you're hopping on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions along the way, feel free to sprinkle. And if you've ever used a non-traditional color as your theme for one of these holidays or just in your decor overall, I want to know what it was. Okay, so let's see where should I start well um hmm I have so much to show you and tell you okay so what let's start with the pumpkins all right um so your traditional colors for fall and Halloween and Thanksgiving are usually going to be red orange yellow brownish okay and um but you are not limited to that so what I love to do is I love to use stencils that are an all over pattern so they look nice because you can use them on a zillion different things like um, just looking around like for example this leaf pattern all over stencil it could be interpreted a ton of different ways in different colors for um, different things. Um, like we did bunnies, I mean, we've done all kinds of funky flowers using the Victorian pattern. So, um, before I came live, I was just playing around a little bit and I did this one, the other side of it, in a stencil. And I'll get you guys links when I'm all finished, but um, the stencil that I'm using for this is called Ticking and it looks like this. It's from magnoliadiy.com if you want to look. And I used your traditional orange chalk paste. All right, but think how cute this would be if you took one of the other pumpkins and you did something completely out of the box, like on this. I did this side in a purple, um, called pansy chalk paste and I used this adorable retro flower stencil all over pattern um, so those are options we're gonna do this one right here but I did want to show you one other idea before I jump ahead I have so many ideas in my head it's hard to get them organized and bring them out in an orderly fashion but I wanted to show you what would be more in my normal comfort zone gray and white. <laughs> this would go in my decor better and it, I would feel more comfortable with it. Um, and how I created this was I used this pumpkin. There's this set of pumpkin stencils <laughs> that are so cute and they're the same size as the pumpkin little white MDF cutouts that you can get. Um, and before we went to Canada, I showed you guys these, this idea of using them on canvas to create these little stuffies that then um, your kids could, if they wanted, see I made an orange bow, where did I put it? Oh, that they could have fun, you know, 
making stuffed pumpkins um, and dolling them up however they might like. So I used the same stencil though, basically as this one, but I didn't put the eyes and the mouth on it. I just used the outline of the pumpkin. And then I used the word thankful. And so what I really, we're gonna do the other side of it, but what I really love is the fact with this stuff from Magnolia that you can just stencil it however you want. And then you can um, take a wet wipe or a wet sponge and wipe that off, wipe your chalk paste off and do something completely different. Like I just got my trees out of the closet. I had these decked out last year with the Mandela lace all over pattern on them. And so then I washed them off before I put them away and I just pulled them out and we're gonna do something completely different with them. Um, so this was made using this stencil, but not the face and I used at gray chalk paste. Oops, I'm just looking over here and wondering why I have ink out because I would not use ink for a project like this. Let's see. We need one more wild color. Okay. So let's try something just for fun using the other side of this because they are two sided. And Let's do one of the funky Mandela all over pattern stencils like, okay, this one you just really cannot beat. It's so adorable. And obviously I've loved, loved, loved mine. It's, uh, um, it's called Leopard and it's part of a two pack that also has the most adorable little puppy paw prints on it. Um, and these stencils get yucky looking after you've used them. 30 or so times, but they still work. So this is just evidence that I love that stencil. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna fuzz this because it's, it does not need it at this point, but I'm gonna lay it down on top of my little pumpkin. And let's see, we've got orange and purple. Let's do green, just for fun. Let's do this funky um, magnolia green chalk paste. Okay, so what you would do is you would just uh, open it up, stir it up on these all over surfaces. I will usually just put a glob on it. It's gonna look like this. Okay. And then I'm just gonna use a squeegee to push it through the holes. You're gonna be surprised how quick this happens. And I just think it's fun. I know I can kind of get into my little rut of using my conservative colors, but sometimes it's fun to just do something different. And with these shapes, these um, MDF shapes that you can get from Magnolia DIY, you can clean them off and do them a million different ways. So I'm gonna pull this up and it's adorable. Let me go throw this in my tub of water over here and then I will come show you. Okay, so look how cute that is. And look how fun or cute this could be uh, all together. And what I was thinking was, how fun would it be? I'm gonna just put a little spritz of distilled water in the top of my chalk paste before I put my lid back on it. Um, how fun would it be for a you know, a child's bedroom or a child's playroom or I don't know, to do like all uh, hot pink or something like that. So what do you guys think? Are these cute or what? And then you have the whole other side to decorate. Then you can clean them off at the end of the season or whenever you're tired of it and do something completely different. And when I'm thinking of pumpkins, just so you know, don't necessarily think that it has to only be Halloween. These are great for Thanksgiving. And so you can use the, um, you can use these, there's a whole set of pumpkin faces that are the sizes of these, and you can just do the outline 
And then you can use some of the fall words like thankful or blessed or gather or autumn or harvest um, in a more neutral color like this. And then you can use them clear through Thanksgiving. So, and then I would just wipe them off before I put them away for the season and bring them out next year and do something completely different. So that was one idea that I wanted to share with you. Um, I know that I tend to go safe and do things so neutral all the time, but you don't have to. Okay, so let's look at these trees next. And um, these are great. I mean, I think they're great. They just look great. Um, even just, they're thick enough that they can stand up on their own. They look great just like that with no decoration on them. But if you add an all over pattern in a fun color, you can just come up with something completely different. So before I came live, I did this one right here using this color that's called Sugar Plum and the Lace Pattern Stencil. This reminds me of bubble gum. Uh, so I did that and this is what that stencil looks like. This is one that I've also used a lot and I ugh, love it. And you could use the same stencil over and over and do them all bubblegum pink. Or you could do, uh, you know, different colors, but all the same design. Or you can get totally crazy and completely mix it up. I'm looking for my lavender. Oh gosh, it's a little bit thick. This is what happens when you don't do good chalk maintenance and you haven't used it in a long time. They can just tend to get kind of dry. That's their natural, uh, that's what chalk's natural state is, is to be um, solid. And you can add distilled water. I'm just using my little magnolia sprayer to give them some life again. which I should have done this before I came live. Sorry. I was so excited about this idea that I um, couldn't wait to show you. Okay, so I've just given it some life to get it going. And when I'm off camera, I'll add a teeny bit more water and stir and it'll be as good as new. Okay, so I was thinking to go with this that we could do a tree in, let's do polka dots. That would be adorable. This is my polka dot stencil. I'll do it for this bigger one. Oops, just a little bit out of the way. And I'm not gonna fuzz this one either because I've used it so much. Okay, is this gonna be tall enough? Yeah, I think it will. And it's also gonna be wide enough. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, chalk paste isn't generally permanent. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to take um, some globs of this and put it on my project. And then I'm going to get a big squeegee. Let's use this one again. And just wipe it off. So what's everyone doing today? It is, oh my gosh, it is absolutely, I live in, in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. And it is the most gorgeous fall day today. Oh, it's perfect weather to go outside to take the dogs for a walk to go do the dreaded grocery shopping which i need to do this afternoon <laughs> it's just glorious and in atlanta when it's nice it is so nice 
Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way up to the top and then I'm just gonna pull off the big globs. I'll lift this up and show it to you. This is a very non-traditional <laughs> Christmas theme I've got going here with this lavender polka dots. Look how cute that is to go with our pink tree and we'll do one more. Um, now I could just, I could do the other side as well. Um, green or whatever I wanted if I want to do a um, do something close to nature because there's not a lot of pink and lavender colored trees in nature but why would I this is so fun so let's do this one okay I was thinking to go along with this kind of pastel look that I wonder how called Canary Yellow. Give it a little squeeze. We used this a lot this um, spring when we were doing lemon stuff. I'm just going to stir it up. Now if you are, um, if your chalk paste has gotten a little bit thicker or harder than you like, be sure to use distilled water only in it, not tap water, and not bottled water either, because those have impurities in them. Let me give this a couple of squirts before I shut it up. Um, they have impurities in them, and you don't want to start a science experiment in your chalk paste. Okay, so let's do, let me see, I'm looking at my trees. Let's do kind of a boulder pattern, and where is my favorite? I'm looking for, ah, oh, here it is. Okay, this is seriously one of my all-time favorites. I've used it on everything from pillows to all kinds of stuffies. Oh my gosh, we've made so many bunnies, flowers. We've made so many different things with this. This is called a Victorian pattern, and I've used this <laughs> way more than probably what the what the company what magnolia even says is possible um even just so you know even once they aren't super sticky anymore they still work just fine you're just going to push it down and um push just the same push your chalk paste through the holes on it just like you would with anything else okay so I put some globs on here, and I'm just gonna start in one area, work our way down. So I would probably never think to do my Christmas decor in um, pink and lavender and yellow. It's probably way outside of what my normal would be. But just to show you and to get you thinking outside of the box a little bit, that's why I'm showing you these crazy colors. And what comes to my mind as the mom of boys is how fun it would be if I had a little girl or a little granddaughter that I could do a pastel bedroom and put some fun little pastel Christmas decorations in her room in non-traditional colors. Oh, this is super cute. It's a little bit hard to see, so I'm gonna hold it up close. I'm throwing my stencil in my tub over here, just so it can soak. Let's see. The, my, my lighting here makes this look more neon than it is in real life, but 
Isn't that cute? And just so different. You love the pastels. You could use those for, I, I used them for Easter like crazy. Yes. And summer too. Um, oh, you're so nice, Sharon. Hey, did you, I have more to show you, but did you guys happen to catch any of the fun stuff that we did yesterday? We made, we used Mod Podge and an iron and a lighter to do decoupage on these little wood pieces of this adorable owl um, napkin set that I picked up over the weekend. Those are just a couple of the pieces. Uh, and then somebody while I was live said, hey, what about doing some glitter? So of course, you only have to ask me once to get some glitter out. I did glitter on the edge of this one, and then I did glitter on the edge of this one too, but also a little speckles. Oops. If you missed this video, it's in my video feed, and it was really fun. And um, taking the excess napkin off of a wood shape that you have mod podged it on is as easy as lighting a lighter. It's really fun. Okay, so there are the trees. Now I wanna show you the houses. Okay, and let me move these up out of the way just a little bit. And then I will get pictures of everything. And I will uh, put those in the comments as well as, whoop, as well as um, in a separate post. Okay, so these are the cutest things ever. These are called a two pack of houses. You can get them from Magnolia DIY and I'll include um, links. I'll put some links throughout the comments or you can just say link if you want and I'll give you the whole slew of them when I'm all finished. But these come in a two pack. They're two sided. And um, so you can do something completely traditional with them like put some Christmas decoration stencils on them in this would be holiday colors. This is more my muted safe <laughs> gray and black. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something kind of crazy with it and use a bright color. Okay, so Magnolia has this stencil, which I just got it out. It's called Christmas Pattern. We're gonna see if we can do both of these with the stencil at the same time. Okay, but in two different colors. All right, so I'm going to put my two little houses uh, kind of edge to edge right there. Oh, you know what? If I do that, I'm going to have to do them the same way because this stencil has a pattern that has up and down. And I don't want my Christmas trees on this to be facing different directions. So this will still work. Um, this has also been used a ton. Mm, it's still a little bit sticky. I think I will fuzz this. Okay, and I'm just gonna use my fuzzing cloth. And I'm gonna mostly fuzz the center part of this because that's what we're gonna use. Why are we fuzzing this? We're just fuzzing it because these stencils are quite sticky. And um, if they're too sticky when you lay them down, sometimes they can stretch a little bit. Or if it was on a painted surface, sometimes they can pull up a little bit of the paint when you're first using them. But look, at, look how cute this stencil is. This is like the Christmas equivalent of the fall leaves all over pattern. It's so cute. Okay, so let's see. I don't suppose it really matters where I put them. I just want to be able to get them to lay completely flat on each one. Just 
burnishing them down. And let's think. We could do red and green, but it's, let's do that. Um, let's do red and green. This is called Old Glory Red. It's a great color. We'll do one red, and then we'll do the other one, this magnolia green that I love so much. Need some more stir sticks. Okay, so this is the most yummiest color ever. I just love this. I don't even know how many things of that I have gone through, but a lot. And this Old Glory Red is great as well. So these are maybe not crazy colors for Christmas, but um, it's just not, not what you would think that you would do with this stencil. I'm trying to get my tar paste to go all the way up to the peak of that roof. Seriously, if you have a, um, if you want to get the most bang for your buck with stencils, I know I've said this before. I mean, I'm frugal. <laughs> I, well, I'm, I mean, I'm not always frugal, but I always do want to get good value. And with all over stencils, uh, the ones that are maybe not so seasonal, you can get so many different uses out of one stencil. Um, they don't have to always be tied to an occasion or a theme, like that Victorian pattern one. That I just think they're a good investment for your crafting closet. I'm just whipping out this, this one real quick. And I'm a little bit further away today because I'm still having issues with my recording equipment. Um, my tripod there that's holding my phone is new, but it's, whoops, not uh, wanting to stay standing up. It's wanting to tip over. So I'm not able to angle it today. And that's why I had to put you a little bit further away than normal. But I'll hold these up and show you. Okay. Let's see. So this is what we have super messy oh but they're super cute but I do see a spot that I just completely didn't even get this is pretty darn cute oh my gosh. it's adorable ah! and this one is absolutely adorable oops but I see Okay, I made a little, couple little uh-ohs that I could fix or I could just wash it off and do it again. Um, I'm trying to figure out how can I push this into my tub. Because this is a big stencil. Okay, let me show you how cute these turned out. <laughs> so adorable. Is that happy or what? This one, I did that ornament at the top and part of the tree. I got too much chalk paste on it and I probably didn't have my stencil pushed down hard enough or, you know, firm enough. But look how cute that would be. Just sitting on a shelf, on your mantle, something like that. Okay, one more thing to show you. And when I'm all finished, I will share pictures, but I want to know which uh, combination is your favorite. I want to know which stencil design you like the best, and I also want to know which color you're liking the best. Okay, so before I came live, I did this wood tag with red, which is a traditional Christmas color, but in the leopard print. And we could do the other side. Let's find something fun. Let's 
see. I have a whole pile of stuff over here. Let me just show you. Empty carrier sheets. Ah. I'm a messy crafter, so most likely you would keep your stuff in a little bit nicer nicer situation but yeah a mess okay so I could do this lace or this is the ticking love both of those those are pumpkins we're not gonna do pumpkins on that this is that retro flower that I did on this purple pumpkin isn't that cute um, here is a super cute mini plaid, or it's like a buffalo. This one's cool. It's chicken wire. Um, here's my beloved new Mandela lace. My old one is still in the cabinet, but it looks like this because it's been used so many times. This is the fall leaves one. And then this one, is called Damask. It's a pretty stencil. And then this one is all over hearts. And then this one I have not used yet, but it is called Honeycomb Pattern. So what should we do? I think let's do, um, which one do I want? I want to do that um, plaid. Let's do this on the other side of our tag. Okay, and let's do, um, let's do green, even though that's not really a super non-traditional color. Uh, I'm just loving green these days, especially that magnolia green, so let's do this one. I'm gonna try to get my pattern so it makes sense. I want the hole in the top to be right in the center. Okay, so let's use some of this. The other side is red leopard. I'll show you that in just a second. And like I said, um, when, when I'm done with them, I can just swap them out. I can just wipe it off, store them, and bring them back, uh, you know, in a completely different design or different color. And sometimes when you're having, you know, a hard time getting just that last little bit of chalk paste off of something, you can use, this is called the Magnolia um, Stencil Cleaner, and it's got like these little nubs on it. So I cut these in half, and I always have half of one at the sink in my kitchen, and that is what I uh, use to um, get any little last bits of chalk paste or ink off my stencils or off of my projects that I'm trying to clean and repurpose. Okay, so I'm just going to take my squeegee. Oh, I put a lot of chalk paste on here. Probably did not need quite that much. going to resist that urge to keep going over and over and over it. I'm going to put that excess back in my little jar. Where's my lid? Oh, here it is. Okay, and this is what that looks like. I'm going to take this off. And it's adorable. Absolutely adorable. If I had another one of these, these come in a two-pack. And I've used one of them for something. I don't even remember what. Uh, but if I had another one to use, this would be super cute. See, there's the leopard side. And here's the um, mini plaid. Isn't that cute? So, um, I think 
was yesterday, somebody was saying that I should get brave and use more color. Well, I took that to heart. And today, we used a bunch of kind of crazy colors. Lots of green. Yellow. Pink. Okay, let's see if I can get everything to stand up. This tag is not going to. Oh, I'm not, dang it, I just put my finger in it. Um, purple. to show you today. I hope that you liked these ideas for taking um, a traditional shape or shape that really conveys a certain idea, especially like the pumpkins and the Christmas trees. What do you think of when you think of those? Well, you think of just your traditional colors. So what I wanted to show you was how you could take uh, non-traditional colors and um, a stencil that has kind of a pattern that doesn't necessarily relate to the season and combine it to come up with something that's really different, that's not permanent. You're not gonna spray these with a clear matte sealer if you want to clean them off at the end of the season and put them away and then bring them out next year and reinterpret them into something completely different. If you want to keep them forever the way they are, you can. You could always use a clear matte sealer, but you really don't need to, and that takes away the option of changing them out in the future, so I would probably not do that, and I would, um, I'm just looking to see what does my picture look like here, and I would um, leave my options completely open, oops to reinterpret it as something completely different. So I hope you liked these ideas and um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna hop off now. Okay, Barbara says she loves the blue dot tree. I'm gonna hop off um, right now and I'm gonna tell you, give you guys all my website. If you just cannot wait another second, it's magnoliadiy.com, but there's no space, okay? It's M-A-G-N-O-L-I-A-D-I-Y, magnolia, D-I-Y, period, C-O-M.com. If you put a space in there, it'll take you to some tractor equipment or something crazy. Um, so it's magnoliadiy.com, but I'll hop on now and sprinkle the links throughout all of the comments. I'll answer your questions and I'll get you guys the information that you want. And I hope you liked this out of my normal comfort zone uh, tutorial. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.